super fun stuff. Welcome to another video for super fun stuff. Today we dive into another print and paint video starring one of our favorite Marvel characters, Spider-Man. As I mentioned in the last video, a new game called Marvel Crisis Protocol is coming out and it has a slew of Marvel characters. Included in the core set is Spider-Man. He wears his classic blue and red suit. The miniature looks pretty good. Not a huge fan of the model, but you can clearly tell it's Spider-Man doing his spider thing. So instead of doing a normal Spider-Man, we're looking at one of his variants. One of the best and most popular variants both in the comics and recent Marvel movies. The Iron Spider. Iron Spidey is Spider-Man daunting Tony Stark tech. It gives him three powerful spider legs, or four in some stories and movies. Some call these legs Waldos, like the real robotic arms. He also has a slew of other cool tech like cloaking, bulletproofing, gliding, scanners, etc, etc. It's a cool variant, and they portrayed Iron Spider nicely in the movies. Looking online, I found a great model created by Dex20 on Colts 3D. Looks to be based on an older 1 4th scale Pearl Thunder Studio piece. Really cool model. Since we're in the print and paint mini mood, let's make our own. I created another cork base like I did for Hulk and Ant-Man. This time I put Spidey on the base ahead of time since he is floating in the air. And there really isn't much to hold while painting. So the base really helped. As always, make sure you have primer on. After primer, I utilize my airbrush again to paint different shades of red. I paint a dark red on the inner side, a regular red on that, and leaving some of the underside the darker color. Then a real true red on the top to give it accent. Lastly, I do a really light orange color just to give it a tad more pop on the top. If you don't have an airbrush, you can do the same with a normal paintbrush. Just try to transition things in a little bit, keeping the paint thin and taking your time. After I do the red, I decided to paint the base. The red was technically dry, but went with the base to give the red a little more time to cure. So far so good, and we're really making some progress. Now the fun part, the gold. Iron Spider is only two colors, red and gold. So with the gold, just paint all the main areas, like the legs, his eyes, a spider symbol. He also has gold around his wrists and feet. I recommend pulling up a picture online just to make sure you paint all the details. To finish him up a bit, I add a little wash on the top. I use a strong wash, which is like a dark brown, on all the gold parts. For the gold parts that meet the red, I take a thin brush and outline it a bit using the same wash. Because the wash darkens some of the areas, I clean up a few gold spots with a little more gold paint, and then apply a very faint silver dry brush for accent. The base is painted the same way as from the last video, different shades of gray, a greenish white, and a white. Then at the end I use a dark pigment to give more depth. You clear coat them, and you're done! An optional step that I did was I took some leftover Halloween cobweb and put a little on the bottom, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And that's it. Iron Spider uses very few colors and it's pretty straightforward. He took about an hour for me to complete. Now you can make your own Iron Spidey at home quickly and easily. Speaking of all these minis I've been making for Crisis Protocol, I'm also in the process of making some fun special rules for them. So while you wait or even after you get the core set, you can play with these guys at home. That's about it for this print and paint. I hope you enjoyed this short video on making your own Iron Spidey. I already have another character in the works and she is going to be awesome. Thank you to all my patrons and supporters, and thank you for watching.